The next one, this is, this is maybe a bit of a short one, but it's common enough that I thought we would cover it. And this is the VC or the investor who we just call the ghost. And this is like a real nuisance. VCs who are ghosts will basically do a whole lot of tire kicking. They will talk to you. They will act interested. Uh, you'll have a lot of interesting conversations with them. You might even think that you're getting close to a term sheet sometimes. And then one day, they just stop answering your emails. They ghost you. And that can be anywhere from a mild nuisance to something that nearly feels like a term sheet tease that can actually materially damage your raise because you thought that you had someone who was genuinely interested who just disappears. Why investors do this? I think there's a range of reasons from somewhat covert data gathering for a competitive landscape to being disorganized. Big firms sometimes have associates who do all this stuff and then the thing just gets lost in the wash to, I guess, just being lazy and rude and basically deciding to pass on you, but without actually telling you that. But the ghost is very common and it's just something that you have to deal with, I guess. And, you know, I think the lesson with the ghost is do not count on anything until the money's in the bank or at the very least until you've got a signed shareholders agreement. Because one thing that VCs can do quite well is act very interested without in fact being interested at all. And the first time you find out their lack of interest is when they ghost you. As you said, you know, th this might be because they're conflict averse. They just don't want to have the hard conversation. It could be because they're gathering data. It, it happens and it's, you know, it's not something that can be stopped or something that's necessarily out of the realm of legitimate or reasonable. VCs get a lot of pitches. A lot of these pitches are about the same idea or the same category of idea. And they're trying to figure out what does this landscape look like? Who has the best ideas? Who's got the best founder problem fit? Who's the best team? Who's the one that's really going after this that's most credible? And that, you know, this is why VCs and other vendors in the space won't sign NDAs because your idea is not original and unique. The question is who's executing it best and who's in a position yeah. to win. Oftentimes it's not that they're cross pollinating the information. That's not what they're necessarily doing. What they're doing is they're using the information across multiple companies to figure out which one has it right. They, you know, they might, you know, allude to something here. They might add a quiver to their bow when they're talking about the problem next with the founder they end up betting on. It's about triangulating the right company. And they may then go bet on someone else that does the exact same thing you were pitching them. And then you can accuse them of having stolen your idea. They didn't steal your idea. They just bet on someone else with the similar idea. That just happens a lot because there's, you know, there are these ideas whose time has come and, you know, all of a sudden there are seven rideshare companies in the world and uh, they're all jockeying to be the ones that are venture backed by the best venture firms. Sometimes you're an Uber and sometimes you're an also ran. It's a brutal business. Yeah. It's a brutal yeah. ecosystem. And it's also a small ecosystem. It's just going to happen. You got you to watch out for it. And just one thing I would add, Chris, if you send your deck cold to an investor and they never reply to you, that is not being ghosted. When you send somebody in cold email, this is not just investors. This is anybody. They don't owe you a response. You are helping yourself to their inbox. They might see a thing. They might not. They might respond. They might not. That is not ghosting. That's part of the game. Like you said. There are a lot of pitches that come in and a lot of them are simply not interesting. I think it's good manners to decline, but I don't think it's terrible manners not to. Yeah. Yeah. Go ghosting is, you know, like dating when you, it's when you're chatting to someone and they disappear. If you just message someone and they don't reply, that's just, they're just not interested. Sadly, you just have to be thick skinned as a founder. There's going to be a lot of rejection. Ghosting is not just rejecting. Ghosting is a type of like gaslighting where you just have no idea what just happened.